Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh, much energy. Today's video is going to be about why you shouldn't waste your money buying the new iPhone. Why is it haram to have the latest stuff? Before we get started into this video, I need you to smash this video with a huge thumbs up and I need you to subscribe to this channel as well. Huge shout out to you OG subscribers out there. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. And if you're new to this channel, welcome to the channel. Today, Apple announced the launch of its new Apple iPhone 11 or 12. 11. Now the thing looks pretty cool as usual, but let's just keep it real. Some of you might buy it because you're a tech nerd and you just want to try things out and have the latest gadget. But most of you want it because it's a status symbol. It represents prestige and elegance and it's just kind of cool, I'm not going to lie. A lot of the times people want the newest and latest gadgets so that other people can know they have the coolest, latest, newest gadgets. A lot of times we use these items to gain self-confidence because we're so insecure that we mask and hide our insecurities securities around having new and nice stuff. But here's the truth of the matter. No matter if you're buying the latest iPhone 11 or iPhone 11s, which is going to come next September, guys, you'll love the phone and enjoy the phone. It will be the latest thing, but then the newest phone will be released and the firmware, software, hardware of your phone will start depreciating so that you can buy a new phone. You will feel outdated as your phone gets outdated with time passing. Allahi brother SQ, you're right. We can't have nice things. We need to divorce ourselves from the dunya. No, no, no. No, 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 I'm, I'm not saying that. Brother, we must live like travelers and have nothing of this world because nothing belongs to us. Bro, where the hell is your shirt? Bro, I gave it away feast to be lila. But I'd rather suggest a better way for you to invest your money. Behold, presenting, investing in your akhirah. You see, that same $35 a month payment for the next two years can be used to sponsor an orphan. It literally costs the same $35 per month to sponsor an orphan. And in that sponsorship, that orphan is getting fed daily and all of his schooling needs are being met. For two whole years, you could sponsor an orphan or you could just buy an iPhone. See, unlike your iPhone, your good deeds don't go out of style, nor do they get outdated. Do you want to know how you can help feed a family? For only $2, you can feed a family of five people. If you are feeling even more adventurous, you could sponsor a $2 meal that could feed a family of five. And in that same price point of $1,000, which is the starting point for an iPhone 11, you could feed five families 500 times for the cost of one iPhone 11. Well, let's see, buying an iPhone 11 or feeding up to 2,500 people. Now your iPhone ain't feeding nothing besides that ego. You be the judge. So what are we supposed to do, huh? Live like beggars and have nothing? Now I'm not saying that to have cool, nice, new stuff. If you can afford it, that's your prerogative. You can do whatever you want to do with your money. But the truth of the matter is that a lot of people are putting these things on higher purchases and in credit cards just because they want the latest, newest item, but they still can't afford it. If you're someone who can afford it and you can still do some good deeds in the process and you're not selfishly thinking about yourself all the time, I think this is a great purchase for you. But if you're someone who is only thinking about themselves, who is willing to starve for a whole month just so they could buy this iPhone, not caring if they get themselves in credit card debt, not caring if they have no money to eat or are late behind their rent, then this phone isn't for you. Our life's mission is not to buy and have the latest things because even the most latest things become outdated. Invest in your akhirah, invest in your hereafter because that is everlasting. Well, that was the video, guys. Jazakallah for watching. It means a lot to me. Make sure you drop your thoughts and your feedback in the comment section below. What did you think about the design? What did you think about the model? Or any points that I missed, tell me in the comment section below. And of course, if you enjoyed and benefited this video, please make sure you smash this video with a huge thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to this channel as well. And until next time, I'm out.